Hey, welcome back. Jamie Hartley here from Crossfader with another scratch tutorial. In this, we're going to focus on a different time signature and that is triplets. Triplet scratching can really add some swing and flair and variation to your current scratch techniques and patterns. At the end of this video, I'll give you a link where you can download the scratch tool and the beat used in this lesson so you can watch it back, follow along and practice this exact routine. Please remember to like, comment, share, subscribe as well. Do all that good stuff to help us keep making more tutorials and videos like this. Let's get stuck in. In this tutorial, I'm using the Tractor Control S4 Mark III. I love this controller for scratching because of the motorized jog wheels that move, but this same technique can be applied no matter what setup you're using. When we first learn to DJ or scratch, we're very stuck into the rhythm of one, two, three, four, landing on the beat. For example, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. But with triplet scratching or tuplet scratching, we have to break that down even further. Within each beat, we're going to create three movements, three cuts, three stabs, three something within that one beat. So if we were to count along to this piece of music now, rather than counting one, two, three, four, we're going to count one, two, three, four, five, six, 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 one, two, three, four, five, six. That can start to get a bit of a mouthful. So something that I like to do is choose two words with three syllables each. I'm going to break that rule slightly because I want to incorporate crossfader and scratching tool. Crossfader, scratching tool. And we can say that over and over to the beat. Crossfader, scratching tool. Crossfader, scratching tool. Then you say it. Crossfader, scratching tool. Crossfader, scratching tool. Crossfader, scratching tool. Crossfader, scratching tool. Now it really helps to memorize something and be able to repeat it over and over in your head. What we're going to do is translate that into the movement of our hand. Hopefully, if you're watching this video, you're already confident baby scratching to the beat. So we're going to take this timing, the triplet timing, and move three movements per beat. So we'd go cross fade uh, scratching tool. You'll notice in that one beat, cross fade uh, we finish in the sound. However, another three movements later, scratching tool, we're back at the start of the sound. So those six movements end you up back at the start of the sound. But this is where it starts to feel a bit strange because we're so used to pushing forward, if you learn the basics of scratching, pushing forwards to the beat of the music. However, on the second beat, we're going to be pulling backwards. So, cross fader, scratching tool, cross fader, scratching tool, cross fader, scratching tool. Let's have a go at this over the beat. I've slowed the beat right down. It's at about 85 BPM. This is a great BPM to get started and practice. Cross fader, scratching tool, cross fader, scratching tool. Cross fader, scratching tool, cross fader, scratching tool. That's just the baby scratch at triplet timing. You could then speed this up and repeat the process. Now let's have a look at doing the transform scratch at this triplet timing. For transform, we're going to need to get used to clicking the crossfader open and closed. We're going to start with what you call the crossfader in the closed position. That's the opposite position to the scratch tool. Then what we're going to do is jump to the second cue, which is this tone sound. I'm going to turn it down a little bit. And we're going to open and close a crossfader to the same rhythm. Crossfader scratching tool. Crossfader scratching tool. Now the clicks, I apply a bit of pressure with my thumb and use my index and middle finger to tap open and closed. Let's have a listen to how that sounds. Without a beat, crossfader scratching tool. Crossfader scratching tool. Now that will be much easier than with a beat because you're just doing a repetitive timing. Let's put the beat back on. Close the crossfader, start the tone. Let's just count along first. Crossfader, scratching tool, crossfader, scratching tool, crossfader, scratching tool, crossfader, scratching tool. Crossfader scratching tool, crossfader scratching tool. 
This is a really useful tone to really play around and get comfortable with the crossfader movement. You always want to practice one hand and then the other hand before trying to put them both together because the next step with the transform scratch would be to physically move the jog wheel forward as we create three clicks, move the jog wheel back as we create three clicks. Let's go back to the scratching tool. Crossfader closed, I'm going to hold the track at the start of the scratch sound. And as I push forward, I'm going to click three times and just do it forwards to start with. Crossfader, scratching tool. Now you'll notice I'm pausing in between the forward motion and the backward motion. That should just really let it sink in and get prepared for the next movement because once you start to link them both together, it's very easy to fall into that repetitive timing of the um, normal 4x4 time signature. Let's try and combine two together and then pause for two beats. Crossfader scratching tool. Pause. Once you've got that down, you want to try and repeat this over and over without any pauses in between. You could vary this up and apply a drop instead of a forward scratch. You could drop it and cut it up three times. to the beat. Crossfader, scratching tool, crossfader, scratching tool, crossfader, scratching tool. The last thing to do once you have that down is just speed up the beat until you can do it at a faster pace. So let's move it back to its original 93 BPM. Then once you've got it at that speed, you could go even faster. Once you get used to the triplet timing, just apply it to the different scratch techniques that you already know. For example, we could do triplet stabs. Triplet chirps. Or even just back to the triplet transforms. Practice going back and forth between the regular timing you're used to and the triplet timing, and it will really add some swing and flair to your scratch patterns. If you want to practice along with this tutorial using the exact same scratching tool and beat then please click the link in the card or the description where you can sign up and we'll send you those links. There are also some more free scratching lessons in that link. If this proved a bit too difficult or sounded a bit confusing then check out our complete online scratching course where we go right from the very very basics of scratching and you can learn to scratch on your DJ equipment or your controller right from the very basics. Thanks again for watching. Please remember to hit that subscribe button and click that bell icon to get notified about more tutorials like this as and when we upload them. See you again soon.